guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Kabantu inside VirtualBox. So let's get started. First, open up VirtualBox and then click on you to create a new virtual machine. Now name it Kabantu. And for the types like Linux and for the version Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on next. I'm going to leave the memory amount at 2 GB, but you can increase it to the half of your install RAM. Click on next. I'm going to leave the hard disk space at 25 gigabytes. Click on next and then finish. Now we're going to go into our settings, storage, hit this empty disk here, go to this tutor and click on Kubuntu uh, ISO. Click on OK and now we can start up our virtual machine. I'm going to enter our scale mode so you can see a little better. There we go. Now in this menu you need to select on, click on try or install Kubuntu. And now it's gonna load up into the Kubuntu installer. From where we can select to install Kubuntu or just try it from the ISO file. So let's wait for this to finish booting up. There we go. It almost finished loading since we have our background. And our installer loaded up. Okay, now in this installer, we need to click on install Kubuntu. Then select the English US keyboard layout, click on continue, and then for updates and our software, click on and select normal installation. Where would you like to install Kubuntu? Click on guided, use the entire disk. Since this is just the 20 uh, the 25 gigabyte virtual hard disk. Click on install now. And now here is a summary of where is it gonna install and which partition sheet it's gonna use. So I'll just click on continue. Now we need to select our time zone. So I'm in Europe and that and the time zone is automatically set. And now for our info, we are gonna name our username and enter a password. Click on continue. And then we have to do VHO-VirtualBox for the name since it cannot contain any underscores or stuff like that. Now we can click on continue. And it's now going to copy files and then install Kubuntu. So what I'll do is I'll be back once the installation is complete. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now we have to restart to so just click on restart now. And now we're going to restart our virtual machine. And now it's going to say remove installation medium and then press enter so just press enter and now we're gonna boot into kabantu so let's wait for it to boot and then it's gonna ask for our use for our password for the user that we created earlier in the setup okay now we're almost we're almost loaded in there we go, we are now loaded into lock screen and then now we have to enter our password for our user and log in. And now we have this wonderful KD splash screen, which will never get bored up since it looks extremely cool. And there we go, we are at our Kabantu desktop. So we installed Kabantu inside VirtualBox. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And with all that said, bye!